Like every business, VMware depends on a large portfolio of enterprise applications. These applications power critical work at every step of the value chain used to deliver products and services to customers. VMware has 600 developers responsible for the ongoing development and upgrade of applications. There are 30 to 50 major development projects a year for business critical systems. From packaged applications like Oracle ERP to custom apps like MyVMware.com, VMware's customer license management portal. And it's the AppOps team within the corporate IT department that supports these developers by building the environments they need to do their testing and development. The AppOps team stands up a working copy of a production application in a non-production environment multiple times throughout the Software Development Lifecycle, or SDLC. This manual process requires over 20 major steps and unfortunately took three to five weeks to complete. The reason it took so long wasn't just the complexity of the tasks. The process was dependent on people in functional silos distributed globally and infrastructure resources were requested by a ticketing system. Corporate IT coined the term human middleware to describe the problem. People working on largely repeatable tasks were the major constraint impacting agility. The efforts of 600 developers were interrupted multiple times waiting for manual provisioning, often causing them to miss deadlines. Developers were often told no to new requests because the provisioning team was too busy and the quality of the provisioned environments was inconsistent. So VMware's AppOps team set out to increase its agility and speed up the provisioning process. They wanted to reduce developer disruption, increase the quality of dev test environments, and be able to always say yes to new requests. The team considered two fundamentally different options to achieve this agility. One was to fix the existing manual process that relied on a traditional data center environment. The other was to replace and automate on a private cloud. The level of automation needed to speed up the process would not be possible in a traditional data center environment. It could only be achieved in a cloud environment based on a software-defined data center where virtualized compute, storage, and network resources are available on demand. The AppOps team made the decision to replace and automate on a private cloud. The AppOps team set two goals for their project. The first goal was to automate the provisioning and management of all dev test instances with a 24-hour cycle time. And then, once that automation was available, the second goal was to phase out the use of traditional infrastructure and provision all future SDLC workloads in the cloud. VMware's internal private cloud, built on a foundation of VMware vSphere and VMware vCloud suite, delivers basic infrastructure as a service compute, storage, and network resources on demand. The AppOps team used the automation and management capabilities of vCloud Suite to manage their SDLC provisioning process. And the extensibility of vCloud Suite enabled the team to add advanced service audit capabilities and integrate third-party components that were needed to manage their complex SDLC environments. The cloud automation and management solution includes a service catalog to choose the right SDLC instance and automated provisioning, monitoring, and management of those workloads. All the components needed by the AppOps team were available through vCloud Suite. vCloud Automation Center provides the service portal. vFabric Application Director manages blueprints. vCenter Orchestrator helps automate a wide range of pre- and post-provisioning tasks. vCloud Director manages resources. The extensibility of vCloud Suite provides service verification to ensure multiple applications are working together. And third-party components like load balancers, network and security monitoring agents, code repository manage a wide range of critical functions. The first workload provision from automation was deployed four months after the project began. Let's take a look at how the solution works.
The blueprints in a complex workload contain more than 80 components, including applications, middleware, and load balancers, as well as provisioning workflow and deployment plans. Depending on the phase of the life cycle, blueprints may also include test or development tools, or security and monitoring agents needed in a pre-production environment. Using the cloud automation and management solution, AppOps engineers predefine all the workloads in the service catalog. They also set the service level for each workload, defining the number of machines in the workload and the processors, RAM, and type of storage available for each machine. In the past, when a developer contacted an AppOps engineer to request a new instance, the engineer would reply with a request to schedule a planning meeting to discuss the multi-week provisioning project. Today, within 36 hours, the AppOps engineer sends the developer a link to a provisioned instance, a login and a dashboard the developer can use to monitor performance in the new environment. Upon receiving the developer's request, the AppOps engineer simply logs on to the service catalog where he can view all the available SDLC workloads. He selects the appropriate workload for the development project. The AppOps engineer adjusts resources in the private cloud based on the needs of the project. He defines the number of days the resources will be needed. He chooses the right profile for the workload. He chooses gold if the developer needs a highly available workload with security at the final stage of the SDLC, or he chooses copper for early development efforts. The engineer then assigns a project name to the workload so he can track it later. Next, he double-checks machine configuration, and for some workloads, he can customize the properties. Finally, he confirms the service request and reviews the showback estimated cost of his order. He then clicks Finish, and the cloud automation and management capabilities based on vCloud Suite go to work. The build process that used to take two to five weeks is now automated and finished in 36 hours. The AppOps engineer can monitor the progress of the build. He can watch real-time what's happening at every step, but he still has control and can intervene and respond if there are interruptions or exceptions. If a task fails and the process stops, the AppOps engineer can easily step in and rerun key steps to get the process running again. As soon as the workload is provisioned, the AppOps engineer hands the environment back to the developer. The developer can check the status of his workload. He can track its birth, when it will expire, and he can view the resources it uses. The AppOps engineers also have predetermined a variety of dashboards appropriate for each blueprint. The developer can select the data he wants to view. For example, he can monitor utilization to see if he needs more resources. The results of this cloud automation and management solution are impressive. The AppOps team reduced provisioning time for complex application stacks from four weeks to 36 hours. That's a 95% reduction, and the provisioning time is still improving. That eliminated wait time and improved the efficiency of VMware's 600 developers by as much as 20%. The fully automated on-demand capability allows the team to always say yes to developer requests, eliminates backlog, and reduces project schedule risk, and the quality of the service they provide went up. With automation in a software-defined data center, VMware will save $6 million per year in lower infrastructure and operating costs. What did VMware learn using its own products? The decision to invest in agility was self-sustaining. VMware improved agility to meet developer needs and speed up the software development lifecycle. They also found that more automation leads to more standardization, which improves quality and reduces cost. These new capabilities were not incremental improvements. They transformed the way the organization delivers IT as a service. Find out how VMware can help transform your IT.